If we are to talk about health and how our bodies work, we must first realize that the nervous system is our master system. It controls and coordinates all our body functions and connects us to our environment. Despite the fact that our nervous system is the center of everything we do, everything we feel, and everything we think, it has not always been viewed in high regard. The earliest written records about the brain date back to the ancient Egyptians, with the description of the first step in mummification, how to insert a hook through the nose to basically scoop out the brain and dispose of it. Fortunately, our appreciation of the brain has evolved since then. Much of our present day knowledge in neurology really dates back to the late 1800s and is largely due to the invention of the microscope and tissue preparation techniques. And although tremendous insights have come about from this remarkable ability to actually see the nerve cells of the brain, a new idea also took hold. It was firmly believed that the brain essentially works like a machine and that after childhood, its cells were incapable of change. In 1913, Santiago Ramani Cajal, the man considered to be the father of modern-day neuroscience, declared that, in the adult centers, the nerve paths are something fixed, ended, and immutable. This idea also became fixed in neurology. It was considered an undisputed fact in medical journals right through to the late 1990s. But thanks to more recent technology, almost like the progress from the camera to the video camera, we now know just how dynamic the brain really is. The human brain contains more than a hundred billion nerve cells, and far from being fixed and static, these neurons are in constant movement. We now know that as long as a nerve cell is stimulated, it can grow, strengthen its communication with other nerve cells, and even help give rise to new neurons. We have discovered that the brain has an amazing capacity to reorganize itself, to maximize its efficiency, and to compensate for lost functions. Indeed, a fresh view of brain function has emerged, a concept known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity refers to the fact that the brain can change itself. It has the ability to modify its very structure and function. This exciting new knowledge has given rise to an explosion of scientific research and tremendous public interest. The implication that the brain can be reshaped is unquestionably the most important breakthrough in neuroscience in the last 100 years. This revolutionary discovery has led us to achieve a much better understanding of how our brains have evolved. It has given us new insight into childhood development, how we learn, how we perform, and how we age. We are also beginning to use this latest information clinically. The science of neuroplasticity has given rise to the practice of functional neurology, a method of localizing a patient's specific neurological weaknesses and subsequently designing therapies to enhance the performance of their brain and nervous system. Because the approach is based on improving function, treatments are not only useful for people suffering from a wide variety of neurological conditions, but also for people who are simply interested in improving their health.